Hey guys, how's it going? And today I'm playing Hood in a division with Subtender Taige's Bliskavicha. Now I'm going to be very aggressive this match. I'm going to get right in there and I'm going to try to get focused by the enemy carrier if they're not smart enough to stay away from my defensive fire. The only thing I really do have to worry about is that Sharn horse that just appeared on the edge of the map. The British battleships, or I shouldn't say the Br British battleships, the Hood itself does not fare well against those. And as you can see, I'm throwing a very early shot off at it at the very maximum of my range. And it doesn't look like I fared very well. Yep, all my shots missed. He did return fire, so I am turning my bow in to try to take that with my armor. And he does very, very light damage to me. As you can see, Subtender's already in Bravo, and I'm moving to support him. Like I said, I'm going to play very aggressive this match, and I'm going to get right into the middle of the map. Enemy Leander smoked up. I did fire a shot at him as he disappeared. Will it hit good? Eh. Nope, only 2,000 damage going off with two over penetrations. So nothing major there. Uh, he will live to fight another day. But the question is, yeah, <laughs> that's what I was going to say. Where did the enemy Farragut go? Because it looked like he wanted to contest one of these cap zones. Fire a shot off at him just as he disappears. That's a very hard target to hit at that kind of range. Is it going to land? Yep, two over penetrations, taking off 2,000 of his health that he won't be getting back anytime soon. So that is very useful. But my biggest threat is basically all the German battleships that are coming down from the north. At least the enemy, Scharnhorst. Because, uh,. The hood really doesn't fare well against them. It doesn't have the guns to overmatch the armor, and it just does light light damage to them, and it doesn't brawl well with them as they have the advantage in secondary range and torpedoes. Ooh, little German or not German, little French cruiser, the Algeria over there, looking very ripe for some damage. And there is the first citadel of the game, sixteen thousand damage going off on a believe that's a tier 7 French cruiser so he won't be uh, won't be liking me for a little while but bringing the guns back to bear on the other side of the map the map the Leander has popped up along with an Emile 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 Bertin and I'm going to be firing on the Leander since he's the most threatening to my friendly destroyers at the current moment and he could smoke up and disappear at any time but it does seem like I'm only getting over penetrations on him, which doesn't fare too well for me. And then again, RNG trolling me doesn't help much either. Emile Bertin. Looks like he's just kind of doing circles over there. Leander doesn't seem to know where to go. We kind of have them separated along with that Farragut from the rest of their team. And they're kind of getting focused down by the players that we do have over here. And that is not a good angle for that Emile to be showing me. If he goes a little bit more broadside, it'd be better, but I'll still take the shot. Their spaced armor is a little trolly, but if I hit him in the right place, uh, it looks like I didn't. Four of a penetrations, 45 and a half thousand damage going off. Did I say 45? Wow, okay, 4,000 and a half damage going off. And it looks like he's going to be going down under just a rain of shells from the friendly team. So there's one enemy down, at least on this side of the map. Looks like the Algeri just got sunk too. Leander way across. I'll throw some shots at him, but as you can see, I'm starting to get worried about all these enemy battleships pushing up on the other side of the map. The Hood is just a battle cruiser, so it doesn't fare too well when it gets into engagement with something that's a suitable battleship. You can see Subtender smoking up the friendly cruiser next to us. But, as you can see, the carrier doesn't really have any interest in bringing planes anywhere near my ship. It seems they're knowledgeable enough to know that, uh, you shouldn't really be bringing planes next to a hood. But it does look like the enemy team kind of wants to push this direction. They only hold one cap versus our two, and they only have two players in the south that could contest us right now. This island is kind of blocking all their lines of fire from the main members of my team being me, the Dunkirk, this cruiser, and Subtender. Whereas it looks like we're kind of getting slaughtered on that side of the map as we just lost one of the three, or the third cruiser, I should say, on that side of the map. 
Now I'm hoping that we can get some torpedoes or early shots into this war spite and the general line of battleships that is behind that thing. There's an Arizona, looks like a Koenig, along with that war spite, and the Scharnhorst looks like he pushed right through sea. All of those are pretty big threats to me, as they're regular battleships, whereas, like I said, what's a battlecruiser? It doesn't really have the armor or the firepower to really, or it doesn't have the armor, I should say, to stand up to a regular battleship. And the guns on the hood aren't amazing for penetrating other battleships bow on. But I will be firing at the Koenig, RNG tells me to go screw myself, and I miss every shot. And then our Cleveland gets absolutely nuked in front of me. So yeah, not not the best situation. Koenig's bouncing off my bow, the Dunkirk seems to have uh, grown a pair and decides to go around the corner. But the enemy has snuck into A, I believe that it would be the Farragut sneaking it around down there. But for now, I'm going to isolate my or isolate the ships that can shoot on me and start dealing damage to this Koenig. 4,000 damage with one penetration so far. I'm slowly swinging the rear batteries around, but I'm really staying bow into this guy because he seems to really want to shoot at me instead of the broadside Dunkirk next to him. Which, I mean, is fine for me. I do like potential damage. And you can see my secondaries starting to go off. Those are 6 kilometer secondaries. The problem is most of them are located on the rear of my ship. Two penetrations for 80, er, <laughs> 8,500 damage. Now that he is mostly on the reload, I'm swinging my ship around to bring more secondaries to bear and bring my rear batteries into this battle. And it looks like I got very lucky there and he overshot my bow to the extreme, really. And you can see I'm bringing the rear of my ship around and getting all these secondaries into action against this Koenig. But I'm also moving away because I don't want that Sharn Horse to come right around the corner within torpedo range of me. Now my secondaries are only 6 kilometers, but so are his torpedoes, and it looks like the Koenig has decided to sit still. Okay. I'm taking small amounts of damage from him, but I'm dealing almost double what he's dealing to me. So yeah, not the best situation for him, especially with my secondaries just beating the crap out of him. And you can see me sl start to slow down and I'm actually going to reverse into him as he's at the very max of my secondary range. And I'm kind of kiting with secondaries just providing that extra damage or extra threat to him as he unleashes another broadside at me, completely missing <laughs> as I sink him. I'm not sure if he was shooting at me or at Subtender there, but either way he didn't hit anything. Subtender's pulling in next to me, I do believe he's dropping me a smoke cloud. Yep, there he is. Very good division, mate. And I think we're going to be taking on this Sharnhorst if he decides to come around this corner and bother our cap circle. The only cap circle we have at this time. So we'll have to deal with the Sharnhorst at some point. And he has launched torpedoes at Subtender, but I don't think he has a very good line of sight on him. Yeah, it looks like he's completely missing over there. And Subtender has forced the Sharnhorst to kind of fall back, but it looks like the war spite is just as interested. I mean, Farragut's being spotted by our destroyer in the south, and we're vastly outnumbered right now. I am one of two remaining battleships on my team. The enemy team has three, their carrier, three cruisers, and a destroyer. We're down to just me, another battleship, two destroyers, and a carrier. So we have to really put our carry pants on to get anywhere in this game. But you're still noticing that I haven't really seen a carrier play in this game. The enemy carrier has been very smart and kept them way the hell away from me, bombing literally every other target they can. But Arizona's coming around my front. There's a Konigsberg coming around my rear, and I want to take him out in order to protect Subtender. You can see my wall of yellow chat down there, just having fun. And as I uh, delete that Konigsberg with one Citadel, taking out the remainder of his health, which I believe was like 7,000, so, you know, Citadels. <laughs> they only come when you can basically one-shot them with a regular salvo. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of having some fun in chat during this game, because we're basically just goofing off with these divisions. And now I'm reversing into the war spite. He's within secondary range of me, I'm within secondary range of him, and he's just creeping around this corner. 
And I am not angled very well against this guy. Ew, there's a big hit against me, but I deal 18,000 to him, basically eviscerating the rest of his hit points. And uh, yeah, my secondaries finish him off with 7 hits. So there's a close quarters expert for me. I did take a bit of damage there, but it's nothing that I can't deal with because I do have basically full health still, and now I'm regenerating them. But you can see you can see I'm starting to get worried about that Sharn horse now, which has decided it wants in on this fight. Isn't it kind of funny that they're all coming one at a time around the corner? It's like they uh, started off in a line, a big scary line of battleships, and now they're just kind of uh, indecisive on where they want to go. Question is, where is he? Where did he decide to go? Looks like Subtender put some torpedoes in his direction, but he did turn out. He's going around the outside of the cap circle. Secondary's going off on him. I get a good hit of 10,000 damage to him. 4,200 with the main batteries, but his secondaries are starting to tear into me. But I am defending the cap with my secondaries, so I'm slowing down, starting to reverse. I don't want to come around the corner into that Arizona. And looks like that York and the carrier are positioned over there too. So now I'm turning out. I'm going to continue to engage the Sharnhorst as he is the biggest threat currently. And he is taking our remaining cap circle. So I will be trying to beat him down. Or at least keep him reset until Subtender can come back and, you know, put a couple torpedoes into him. But once again, I don't know what it is with German battleships today, but he has decided to stop. Which is making it really easy to put shots into him as I roll another 4,000 damage into him and completely reset his cap points. There's that Leander still alive somehow. Um, <laughs> not doing well on hit points, but you know, he's surviving. So I'll throw some shots down that rate way as I don't really want to turn my broadside to the Sharnhorst in order to take that shot. A little bit of light damage going off on the Leander. Confederate popped up for doing that and looks like the Sharnhorst is still sitting still despite my last uh, pretty hard reset on him. So I'll take that free shot and I'll reset the cap zone again with 5,000 damage. I'm just kind of slowly picking this guy apart from range. I really don't want to get close and get into a brawl with him because like I said he really outclasses me in that. But his light guns aren't doing too much damage to me as I roll 8,800 damage on him again. Leaving him at about 600, or 600, 6,000 hit points. So yeah, he's starting to realize his situation and is starting to speed up again. But I think it's a little bit late as I'm starting to turn back and engage him. I'm basically going to chase him down and kill him, whether I'm the one who gets him or Subtender gets his guns around in time. And it looks like Subtender is starting to pour some fire into him. Which is good because... Really, my guns are slowly poking at him. They're not doing a lot of damage each time. And it looks like the Sharnhorst has gotten fed up with uh, kind of bouncing off my armor and has now loaded the high explosive trying to set me on fire. But will I take him out there? Yep. The one last hit I needed falls true and takes him out. But there is the enemy Arizona. And that is something I was not prepared for. I didn't think he was going to come around that corner. So he catches me in the side for 10,000 damage. I'm still good for health, so I do I do uh, have the ability to trade, but he does have more health than me, and he does have more guns. That is a 12-gun battleship versus my 8. So I'm going to have to handle this very carefully, because I really don't want to give this guy my broadside, but I do believe my guns turn faster than his, if I am correct. And you can see here that I'm not doing a lot of damage to his bow. The Arizona has very good bow armor, and I don't have very good shells for penetrating through that. But despite my rear guns being on the opposite side of the ship, I take a look at his ship, notice his rear guns are facing the wrong way, and take a bet. Will he be able to ram me? I think I'm going too fast, and I've angled just enough that he won't be able to. He splashes some shells off or across my bow, completely missing me. I deal 4,000 damage. Past him, looks like his rear guns were facing this way, but I don't think he had the rotation to get them off. Swing my rear guns around, put two into his side for 10,000 damage. 
earning me the high caliber award and now my secondaries from the rear can start to rip him apart. And uh, I don't think he really expected me to do that, and that's something I love to do in these fast, low-tier battleships. I'll take my ship and I'll just drive past somebody. And it's absolutely hilarious to do. But of course, now I have to deal with his rear armor, unless he decides to turn broadside? Okay. I'll, uh, I'll take that, dealing 6,000 damage to the side of him. And I mean, if he's just gonna sit broadside to me, I'll gladly take the f the uh, free damage. D Subtender did pop smoke for me, but it looks like the Arizona decided to focus him, slamming a bunch of shells into him, and I think revenge is needed for that. <laughs> 4,000 damage, taking out the Arizona, and giving me the Kraken, quickly turning this game around by taking out those enemy battleships. So, all that's left is an enemy destroyer, an enemy cruiser, and an enemy carrier. And we have 800, or we have almost 900 points versus their 700. So really, nothing threatening so far. And you can see the enemy team and the friendly team both complimenting me on the game, which I was extremely happy to see. Usually you just get salty players at the end of a match like this. But, uh, yeah, there goes the enemy destroyer to our carrier. Basically, I'm kind of hunting the York that has been skimming along the edge of the map and maybe getting some shots on the friendly, or er, not friendly, that would be team killing, the enemy carrier that is lurking about somewhere over there. So the main question is, will I get one more shot off? I don't really have a, I don't have a spotter plane on the hood to kind of scout for these, so I'm relying on subtender or the friendly battleship to hunt down those two light ships, or I should, I, it's hard to call the Independence light, it is a Cleveland hull as a carrier, but it is a carrier nonetheless. But basically we're hunting down these two ships with pretty good concealment. Looks like the York has popped up, will I get one hit on him before this game ends? Shots out, looks like he's not too keen on turning. And yeah, 2000 damage. Not a big hit to end off this game, but it looks like, we'll, looks like we will be wrapping up this turnaround for a win. So that was kind of surprising that the enemy battleships uh, came around that corner one at a time and basically came broadside to my guns or, as the two battle German battleships decided to do, stop in the line of fire. So I'm not entirely sure what the mindset of that was. I mean, they had a pretty strong push going on, but I guess it kind of evaporated in the sea of targets they had over there whereas some battleships decided to pursue the cruisers that we had over there or pursue the new mexico that we had down south while others decided to slowly one at a time push around that corner until suddenly they realized it was too late so yeah really good job to my team and subtender for providing the very useful smokes and firepower needed to help me carry, or I shouldn't say help me carry, to aid me during that map and allow me to do so much damage and take out five of the enemy team's ships, enabling us to win that match. Onto the end screen shows that I did 147,000 damage, five kills, Confederate, close quarters expert, Kraken unleashed, I do believe that's fireproof, uh, and high caliber. So yeah, very good game on my behalf. Uh, I was very, very happy with it, especially with the 75 secondary hits, because a lot of people underrated the hood secondaries, especially since they were mostly on the rear of the ship. And the other thing that I was kind of uh, laughing about was how the enemy carrier never brought planes near me, even though I was basically the biggest threat to their team. The carrier never tried to pop my defensive fire, or tried to bomb me from long range. So that was rather interesting and it kind of made me sad. But I did round the game off with 2300 base experience first on my team and subtender right below me with 1800. So like I said, very good job to my team, very good job to subtender, and uh, I guess well played to the enemy carrier for not bringing any planes near me. And anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, good luck out there in all your battles. I know the British battleships are soon to come, and I'm extremely, or yeah, I'm extremely looking forward to them as I haven't gotten to play 
a new line of battleships in a while, and I'm looking, I'm interested to see what their flavor will be. Wargaming has changed them up a lot. So good luck out there, have a nice day, and I'll see you guys next time.